Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. I'm gonna be talking about some of my old favorites that I am currently loving, that I currently cannot stop using. Uh, I've noticed recently, as I get ready to do my makeup, I'm using a lot of older products and a lot of products that were my favorite. You know, they were packed up for a while as I made a move from Iowa to Vegas. Now I've pulled them back out and I just keep using them. So I thought, why not chat about it? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, hello, welcome. Welcome um, to jump into the Vegas OOTD. Today I'm just wearing my black shorts and then this, this green top. We're pretty cash. We're pretty, pretty casual today. I don't, I don't have any plans. Today's a Monday. So I've just been working. I've been packing orders. If you missed my video from Sunday, it is a get ready with me trying out some new makeup, but I also answer your questions on the launch of my brand by Samantha March. I had a restock on Sunday. One of the products sold out so fast. I'm so like, I just, Ah, uh, um, I'm so shocked. That was definitely, there was two notepads that I heard the most feedback from that people really, really wanted. So I ordered more quantities of those. And so to still sell out of the one, I just, I didn't, I, I just, thank you. Um, thank you for supporting the brand, the launch, the restock. Um, five of the six products are still available at the time that I'm filming. Um, we are starting to run low on the week at a glance, the blank one. That was the other one that I heard the most amount of feedback that people really wanted to come back. We are starting to run low on that one. But I have just been packing and shipping the orders. Um, my mom and my aunt are visiting and my mom was helping me pack up with the orders yesterday, which I was so grateful for. So yeah, um, it's just been it's just been a little bit crazy, but I knew I needed to sit down and film. So that is what we were doing. A lot of the products are on my face. I didn't film this since I'm kind of in a rush. It's 5.18, I still have to edit this video for tomorrow, but I will link all of my uh, makeup in the description box below. I am also going to draw a card from the deck of healthy habits I do this in a few of my videos usually the ones where if I'm needing to draw a card for myself um, On the day that I'm filming I will and since I said I'm filming on Mondays I like to draw a card at the beginning of the week and then the end of the week So I need to draw my card for the beginning of the week So the card deck is available on my site, which is chicklitplus.com. So today's card we have oh, this is a good one. This is fuel your body I do like that one. And you know what? I was just thinking about what to eat tonight and I was like, kind of wanted to go a little healthier route, maybe like a little salmon salad. So I think maybe this is a sign to have my salmon salad and then just try to focus on eating better this week. Not that I've, I haven't like eaten bad, but again, with my mom and aunt in town, you know, we're just kind of trying to eat out at all the, the Vegas places and everything. Um, so yeah, that will give me a reminder to to eat a little better this week, if you will. That's everything that I have to say, so let me jump into the products. Like I said, a lot of these are older favorites that I haven't used in a, in a, in a bit here, in a minute here, but I've recently pulled them back out and now I just can't stop with them. One is, is an oldie, an oldie but a goodie. And I'm kind of surprised that I stopped using this product for a hot second. I mean, I feel like the move didn't help. You know, all my makeup was packed away for a while. I had a very small makeup bag that I kept out during the actual like my drive from Iowa to Vegas, but then I've slowly been pulling products out, but you know what I keep wearing? The Pat McGrath uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Pulled this out recently. I have the shade Light Medium 10, and I'm like, why Why would I have stopped wearing this? Like, if you followed my channel around the time that this came out, maybe a little bit after it came out, I was obsessed with it. I mean, I could not stop talking about it. I know a lot of people purchased it because of my reviews and I just really enjoyed this one. It's a really nice medium coverage. It's very, very natural on the skin. To me, it's so, so long wearing. I remember one of the times that I first tried it, I went in a hot tub later that day and I was like, my makeup is gonna be completely melted off and my face looked fantastic. It holds up really well in the Vegas heat too. I mean, I do powder my face with the Dior powder, no powder, but this is such a beautiful foundation and I just, I keep wearing it again. And then also what is on my face today, this is a bit of a newer product. So I kind of went back, on, back and forth because I was like, I'm trying to focus on like older, older favorites, but makeup releases, they move at the speed of light. So I was like, you know what? I'm still gonna include it because I keep wearing this one. This is from Urban Decay. This is their Stay Naked. Uh, Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. So again, this came out just a few months back. 
and I tried it and I really liked it but I was also trying a lot of skin tints at one time so I was constantly trying new ones to be able to put together a review I did a ranking video on them and then after that dust kind of settled and I've stopped my obsession with skin tints this is one that I keep reaching for again and again and it's funny because I feel like when I was first trying it it was almost not that it was too glowy on me but i did have more oily skin and then now since the move i can definitely tell that my skin is turning back more into dry skin which i used to be for such a long time and now i think that it's absolutely beautiful i have the shade 41 light medium again it's a little bit of a lighter coverage i still want to say like medium coverage natural but it gives you you know definitely gives you that glow so if you have dry skin i think you'd probably really like it if you have oily skin maybe not so much um but I just, I don't I keep reaching for it recently. I can't, can't stop wearing the Urban Decay. And then also, the Armani Power Fabric Concealer. This has been a favorite of mine for such a long time and I recently pulled it back out and now I'm scraping. Like, it's almost gone. I'm gonna have to buy me a new one soon because I am scraping at the sides of this. But this is such a beautiful concealer. I wore this a ton when I was traveling in 2019. I was doing a ton of travel back then. This is the most blendable concealer I have ever tried. You don't need a brush, you don't need a sponge. You can truly blend this out with your fingers and it will look so smooth and so beautiful. It's very, very lightweight, but it still gives a really nice coverage. I can use it on my under eyes. I can use it on blemishes to hide them like this. It's a beautiful concealer. It's Armani, it's more expensive, but like I said, I'm scraping the sides and I will definitely be repurchasing. I'm gonna move over to some lip products because I feel like I kind of live in these lip shades. I'm not mad about it. There's some newer like glosses especially that I've really been enjoying. The Lawless, the Huda Beauty Sick, uh, Silk Balm, Sick Balm. The new Sigma lip oils, those are really nice also, but these are some old favorites that I just like, I, I, I can't I can't stop with. I am wearing the MAC Whirl lip liner. MAC Whirl, I think I will just always have in my collection. It's just, I just, I, it's, it's just beautiful. It's just your pinky nude. It's gorgeous. It's a wooden lip liner. Um, these were some of the first products that I ever purchased from MAC and I, I love them. I think they're long wearing. I think they're easy to apply. They're smooth. So they don't move. Like I'm such a fan. <sighs> this next one, I have loved this shade for such a long time. And I've noticed that I've gone through periods of like, I constantly wear this and then I like back off and then I constantly wear it and then I back off. And I'm at the point where I constantly wear it. And also whenever I wear this lipstick, especially with the world lip liner, I get flooded with questions of what is my lip combo? What am I wearing on my lips? But I've been wearing this a lot recently and it's not available anymore, which I'm very sad about. But this is also from MAC and this is the stripped lipstick. This mixed with Whirl is so beautiful because stripped on its own is too light for me. I really can't just wear stripped. And I remember getting the, these MAC lipsticks in PR. And I got, I, I can't even remember how many lipsticks it was, but it was a gigantic box of MAC lipsticks. And I was just like, like I was so shook. That was like one of the times where I was like, I feel like I've made it as a beauty blogger. <laughs> like, oh, like I can't believe that this is happening. And I remember pulling stripped out and I was like, I just, I, I can't wear that. But I would start to notice, uh, you know, like watching other videos and other tutorials and people would do lip combos. And I really didn't at the time. Like I'm someone who's still fairly basic with makeup. Like I use one eyeshadow palette or I just used a lipstick or I would use one foundation. I wouldn't mix. But I would see people using a darker lip liner and a lighter lipstick and kind of blending them together. And it would be so beautiful. And then, some, you know, sometimes topping with a gloss and it was so gorgeous. So that's what I started to do with Whirl and Stripped. And this combo is so gorgeous i wear it so so much especially that reverse cat eye trend that's going on i did a look in that sunday video get ready with me i did it with green but when i did my black look and then also a brown look doing a very nude lip especially maybe topping a little bit of gloss on it or an oil on top it's just such a vibe it makes me feel super confident and i just once again i'm just like obsessed with it so i'm so mad that i haven't been able to find stripped because this combo big favorites 
And then some more lip products that I've been loving. These are both from Charlotte Tilbury. So we have Very Victoria and then also JK Magic. I am wearing Vi uh, Very Victoria on my lips today. This has been such a favorite of mine for such a long time. And again, I kind of went more into glosses for a while. So I was wearing those quite a bit, but I pulled out Very Victoria recently and I just keep wearing it. It's the kind of that more like cool tone type of rosy pinky nude and I just think it's gorgeous it's more of a matte shade it's just it is beautiful and then JK Magic this was a part of the Hot Lips 2 collection that came out and this immediately became my favorite shade in the collection and this one is just more of like your like kind of like a lighter pink shade this one is the kissing formula so it gives off a little bit more of a satin finish than Very Victoria is a little bit more matte but JK Magic is so beautiful, so I just feel like I'm kind of rotating between Charlotte Tilbury and MAC Lips at the moment, and I'm not mad about it. Moving over to some cheek products. So I've had this video idea in mind for a little bit now, and there's been a couple times that I've been like, oh, I could film that one today, and I'm like, you know what? I just want to wait a little bit longer because I'm fairly confident I'm going to hit pan in either one or both of these bronzers that I'm going to mention in this video. I'll just give you a second. Do you think I hit pan in either one or both of these bronzers that I'm going to be talking about in this video? Please feel free to leave it in the comments. All right, so I am going to be talking about Becca Capri Coast and then also the Jouer Bronzer Duo. Okay, time's up. I have not hit pan in either of these. Why? Why can I not hit pan in a bronzer? I don't understand. What is wrong? Like, ha, hit, ha. I should have hit pan in both of these, okay? I should have hit pan in both of these. I have on the Becca Capri Coast today. Such a beautiful bronzer. It's been a favorite of mine for years and years now. I have a gigantic dip in the middle. Like, you can see the outline of the pan in here, but no actual pan has been reached. And I'm just like... It's just not right, but I have been wearing this one so much recently. I, I think that it's beautiful. I am definitely wearing a lot of my cream and liquid bronzers. I've been buying a ton of new ones. I tried out the Danessa Myricks uh, Contour Balm in yesterday's video. I can see the Iconic London staring at me right here, Patrick Ta. Like, I've been buying a lot of those. I can't help myself, but if I'm going into these powder products or like topping powder products on top, these are basically the two that I'm going back and forth from. And then the Jouer Bronzer Duo, I thought especially I would hit pan on this side. I don't know if you'd be able to see it in the camera really well, but there's a very big dip. There's like some kind of like scraggly lines and it almost looks like it's getting ready to kind of like break a little bit, but nope, no pan in either of these. Everything's fine. Two highlighters that I've been wearing quite a bit. The one that I have on today is from Natasha Denona, and this is the Super Glow. I mean, I have talked about this highlight for a very long time. It is such a favorite of mine. I think that it's so hello. I think that it is so beautiful. This was one of the first, am I saying this correctly? Like one of the first Natasha Denona products that I was like, okay. Because it's, it's expensive. It's a $38 highlight. I'm pretty sure I probably bought it on sale like I do most of Natasha products. But I was like, this is freaking beautiful. And I have loved the highlight ever since. You know, I have some other highlights that I truly do love. I've made highlights with Ofra Cosmetics. So obviously, you know, I do really enjoy wearing those also. Some liquid highlights, I've been getting into those. The Auric, I think, is really beautiful. I was wearing that for a long time. Um, but still, something about the Natasha Denona Super Glow, I've pulled it back out recently, and you've been seeing this in my like in the, my description box where I list all the makeup. You've been seeing this one so much. But another one that I've also really been enjoying, the Benefit Cookie. I almost didn't include this because I don't know if I would ever say the Benefit Cookie was a real like number one favorite of mine. But I still really enjoyed it. But now that I've pulled it back out, I kind of just alternate. Like if I'm not doing a cream or liquid highlight, I'm alternating between these two. And I think both of them are so stunning. So once again, this um, cookie is a little bit more on the pinky side. Natasha Denona is a little bit more on that champagne side. But so beautiful, so blinding. I've been loving them both. I don't love the benefit packaging. I don't really love the box packaging. But still, these are both gorgeous highlights can't stop wearing them and then lastly I have two different blushes the one that I'm wearing today is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush and I have the shade Pink Gasm I've seen a, a few of my favorite creators and friends here on YouTube recommend this one and I love the Charlotte Tilbury wands the contour wand the highlight wand those are favorites of mine so I bought this one once again I don't know if I would say this was ever like a tippy top favorite of mine but recently I just keep wearing it and I'm like 
this is so dang pretty it gives you a really nice kind of flushed glowy look also without being too overwhelming it's a really beautiful pink color i find the charlotte wands really really easy to use i think one of the reasons why this was never like a top top favorite is because when it comes to cream and liquid products Blushes are not my absolute favorite. Um, I definitely prefer like contour and bronzer, highlight, then blush. Like it just, they're usually not my absolute favorite, especially liquid blushes. But again, the Charlotte wands are so easy to work with. So this is gorgeous. And then also, Buxom Seychelles. Okay, one of the Wonderlust uh, blushes from Buxom. I had a deep, deep love for Seychelles for a long time there. I was constantly wearing this, constantly talking about it. The thing with this one is that, what's kind of funny, is I keep wearing it, and I keep wearing it, but I, I don't know if it's because I'm more tan, because I'm outside so much these days, but I feel like the shade isn't really working for me. It actually, it mostly just leaves me really kind of glowy, which I do like, but for the actual blush shade, I feel like it's not working out for me as much anymore, but I want to love it, so I just keep wearing it, but I'm like, I'm not really sure. What is going on here? I think it might just be a shade thing. I'm pretty sure I also have the shade Dolly in this blush, so I should just pull that out and see if I like the shade any better. But I kind of I wanted to end it on this one because I was like, once again, I feel like I mean it's not like I'm cheating in this video because it's like not that deep. It's just makeup. But when I'm talking about old favorites that I currently keep wearing, I do keep wearing the Buxom because it's like I know that I love you. I know I at least loved you at one point. Why don't I love you anymore? That's kind of like where I'm at. But I keep wearing it, even though it's like more like a highlight on me at this moment. But it's fine. No big deal. No big deal. Anyways, that is it for today's video. These are my old favorites that I'm currently wearing so much. Most of them that I'm currently loving so much. I will link everything down below if there's anything that you're interested in. But of course, I would love to know what are some old favorites that you're like, you know what? I either never stopped loving these or I'm currently loving them again. I, of course, would love to know. And as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.